hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check how we can use elastic dump tool for migrating or copying or backing of your db data so basically elastic search is a no sql database so everything will be stored into the json format so we can uh, uh, able to like uh, import and export the index data of elastic search into some file and then that file we can use for importing that data uh, to the like another set of uh, installation or you can say like uh, you, if you are migrating from lower version of Elasticsearch to higher version then uh, there is always a challenge that uh, how you should move your data to the compatible to the latest version of Elasticsearch so for this uh, like uh, either we can use this uh, uh, tool that is elastic dump tool uh, which can uh, easily import and export the data of index data but uh, for uh, higher version of elastic search like uh, you can use re-indexing also so along with re-indexing you can use elastic dump tool so you can use like uh, upgrade assistance from uh, like uh, elastic search so that like uh, you will be guided in order to import and export of your data so we are going to check what are the like uh, possibilities we, uh, with these tools so in general like a uh, database will have mechanism for uh, this migrate migration of uh, json files or transferring of stored data into other different databases or to a supported file format so as the name implies so elastic dump is just dumping of your uh, index data and then uh, we are like uh, again we are importing that into like uh, elastic search database okay so uh, like uh, generally we intend to manage data transfer between the elastic search indices and uh, this uh, elastic dump tool and is an like a uh, best suitable tool in order to uh, do this job okay so additionally it allows to export the group of data sets as well as mappings from the es index so it will maintain the mappings as it is suppose your uh, data into the like string format date format or in double format so it maintain that all mappings of your data types okay then even gzip format data also like uh, it is supported uh, to export the multiple indices at same time and in the same destination okay now moving to hands-on with elastic dump so we can export the indices into json files as i mentioned earlier from one cluster to another cluster suppose like uh, you have multi-cluster environment and uh, now you want to uh, copy the data from your old version of elastic search to new version of elastic search uh, within that clusters then you can easily uh use this tool and move, move your data to another cluster okay so in this article we are going to explore how we can use this tool okay so create the elastic search index uh, so we are going to cre create the elastic search index with uh, some employee data and that we are going to uh, move from like uh, one cluster to another cluster or uh, i'm using my local machine so that like uh, we can delete that data and again we we will import same data yeah so moving further with the setup so to begin with uh, we have like uh, we need to elastic dump installed in our local machine so in order to do this so we need to run this execute this command so npm install elastic dump so for that like uh, just go to command prompt and uh, check if uh, we have npm is running npm minus v okay npm minus v so it is not recognizing okay so we need node.js to be installed on our machine okay so node.js minus v so it is not recognizing so we need to install the node.js now so go here download the node.js so here like just go to windows installer so we need in msi format yeah so this download is in complete so we just need to run this file okay so node.js setup wizard so click next accept the license
okay so our node.js setup is completed let's finish now let's verify if it is installed so again go to command line and just uh, type npm minus v okay so our npm is installed then say node minus v so our node.js is also installed that is 16.70 okay so uh, yeah, so as mentioned in the blog, so we need to run this command in order to install this tool elastic dump. Okay, so npm install elastic dump g. So it is now installing this elastic dump. Okay, so our uh, elastic dump is installed. So now how to use this elastic dump so in order to use this so we need to as we see the command above so we need both input source uh, so this basically elastic dump input and output destination so uh, the input is like uh, from where we want to expo export the data output is like from where uh, which destination you want to export that data okay so additionally we have to also mention previously like elastic dump works by sending the input and output and that output or input could be either in elastic url or file or vice versa okay so then we can use this elastic dump tool like transfer backup of the data in the sample index of the below file so this command is like uh, this elastic dump this is tool name and then here we need to mention the source and here we need to mention the file format and your path of the uh, JSON uh, exported file okay and uh, the type mentioned as a data so this is very simple uh, command where we need to define the input and output and type okay so now importing the e index data so now we need elastic to be running on our local machine so just start our elastic search so go to our elastic search installer so I'm going here see tools elastic search bin so i have 8.4.0 that is the latest version of elastic search we want to start it so type elastic dot bat okay so our server is started on local so let's verify it if it started so go here type localhost 9200 okay so our simplifying tech cluster is uh, now running so now let's let's run the kibana also okay so go to kibana installer so this is uh, kibana 8.4.0 and uh, go to bin folder and then uh, here cmd kibana okay so our kibana is now available so it is running at uh, port 5601 okay so let's verify it localhost 5601 okay it's loading okay so it is saying your data is not secure so we are running without uh, HTTPS port so we are running on HTTP port that's why it is saying uh, like your data is not secure because latest version of Elasticsearch is uh, more focused on the enabling security so currently we have disabled so we have we are using 8.4.0 version okay so now uh, we have some existing data uh, in our uh, Elasticsearch database so we have like this employee ID index inside that uh, we have some data basically I have this data uh, so I have this employee index in inside that I have uh, 55 records and uh, I have like uh, information about the employees like uh, what is its ID what is its name email and location profile picture and everything about uh, one employee so one record is consist of all employee information so I have total uh, 55 records now I want to take backup of these records so if I say count then I have count 55 okay so now I want to take the backup of this data and uh, suppose like uh, we can use this data in order to like migrate 
from uh, this uh, database to another database or if you want to upgrade one from one database to like a higher version of uh, that uh, elastic stack then we can use this okay so now i can use this elastic dump to tool okay so now i'm moving to one directory cd c colon okay so what i have okay so i have nothing so now uh, i will use this tool i will use this command which is provided into this block so what it is saying so as i mentioned earlier so we need to verify the source and destination okay so i'm just putting it on one line so that like a windows should not give any problem okay so what it is saying so i have input i have output so uh, input as i have a, uh, this connection uh, elastic connection and output i have a json file so copy this go here run it okay so it is saying starting dump and then got 55 records as i shown you in the kibana i have total 55 records and sent uh, 55 objects to destination file now let's verify it so go to that uh, directory where i stick dump so this is employee data so open it okay so i have this employee index then i have id then i have a source so this one source is belongs to one json like uh, information about one employee that id name email that is we have here this one id name email okay so whole data is now exported into one file that is json file now suppose like uh, you want to upgrade this uh, elastic search or uh, you want to move from one database to another database from for no sql databases so then like we can use this data okay so any no sql database uh, which is supporting the json file that we can move this data according to its filter conditions so one of the use case uh, is like uh, while upgrading the database we can use this uh, import export tool so uh, i have up already uploaded uh, one uh, video regarding this upgrade so installing and configuring like uh, from 7.10 to 8.4 so where like uh, i have used this uh, elastic dump only so you can refer this for upgradation of data and how we can install 8.4 version of elastic so you can uh, take the reference from this video so now uh, here uh, i'm just using this same uh, elastic search setup but i'm importing this index so okay. now i want to delete this okay so i will showcase like how import export work by using elastic dump tool so now i'm deleting this index okay so this got deleted so now we have don't ha we don't have any uh, like uh, index named with employee emp idx okay we don't have any index index not found so so now what we can do so we can import that whatever we have exported okay so you can do same in another version of elastic also okay so now what we have to do we have to go and we have to import the data so with this dump completed we can now proceed with okay now how how we can import the index data okay so in the elastic like uh, we have already exported file so now we want to import that file okay so copy this command just remove the white spaces again we are giving the source and destination so in the source we are giving as a json file we are doing this uh, just opposite data okay so as a input we are giving the json file and then as output we are giving the elastic uh, index okay and we are using this bulk equal to true means it can import like uh, as many the record as it is available okay so copy this and go to our tool again okay so now just execute it in order to import the data okay so we got the error so error is saying that uh, input is a required input and output is a required input okay so this this means like we need this hyphen in uh, this format only so we just need to edit it so go here give the double hyphen 
and here also give it a double hyphen okay copy this and execute it okay so starting dump got 55 records again from the source file and then at the destination it is written 55 now let's verify into Elasticsearch go to Kibana again so previously it is saying like for employee IDX index not found so now our data is imported so it will say that yeah so we got the 55 records again so let's check if it is maintained the index structure also whatever the data types are there so that should be proper yeah so it is like uh, see the created at is date then created uh, balance is long so it, it maintain the data types also so it is not like uh, it is uh, imported everything into string so it has like maintain its data type also so we can verify the total number of counts uh, it maintains by importing so we can see total number of count is 55 only and uh, the data also if we can check then this data also like uh, like id name email that is the employee data only okay so this way like uh, we can use this uh, elastic dump tool in order to uh, like uh, export and import uh, the index data like no sql data while uh, migration of database or like uh, while doing the upgrade of uh, any database activity okay so to summarize this uh, like uh, we can use this elastic dump tool in order to import and export index data as well as for uh, we can use for migrating copying backing up and or transferring the stored data uh, to either different databases or to the file of supported format so stay tuned for the in more interesting topics and uh, please subscribe to our channel and thanks a lot for watching